is the future of the Rumble Ponies in jeopardy. A new proposal from Major League Baseball may take the Mets AA affiliate away from Binghamton. 12 Sports Director Nicole Minner joins us now in studio to break down what we know so far. Nicole? Well, we first heard about these proposed changes one month ago. Baseball America first reporting that Major League Baseball is looking to restructure all levels of the minor leagues. Changes so significant that more than 40 cities home to affiliated minor league teams will lose those teams. And according to a report from Bill Madden of the New York Daily News, Binghamton is part of that number. Madden says 42 of the 160 minor league teams will be eliminated. Many of them from short season rookie leagues, but the New York Penn League has three teams that will be saved, including the Mets short season A team, the Brooklyn Cyclones. Madden reports that the Cyclones will move to the Eastern League, replacing the Rumble Ponies as the Mets double A team. This is 12 News at 6. You know, this is really an ill-conceived, uncoordinated concept by Major League Baseball. Fiery words tonight from Rumble Ponies owner John Hughes. A battle is brewing for Binghamton baseball. You can say that again. Local officials speaking out following reports of the Rumble Ponies could be no more. 12 Sports Director Nicole Menner here now with the latest. Nicole. Amidst MLB's proposal to restructure minor league baseball, the Rumble Ponies now on the chopping block. Team owner John Hughes confirms the team is on the initial list of cities who could be left without a major league affiliate. Today, local leaders tell me they can't imagine Binghamton without baseball. It's something that we will fight tooth and nail. Uh, to prevent from happening. It's a terrible, terrible decision. Local leaders are outraged following a Major League Baseball proposal threatening to remove the Mets AA affiliate from our community. The state of New York and the city and the owner recently partnered to invest about $8 million, I think, in that stadium um, to address uh, a series of deficiencies and to, to make it compliant with the standards of minor league baseball. Binghamton's bred some of the biggest names in baseball. Even this year's National League Rookie of the Year, Pete Alonzo. I mean, this this league is a is a is a really good is a really good league. No one is stealing hometown America baseball from the Bing or any other city in America without a fight. The owner of the Rumble Ponies, John Hughes, fighting back tonight. It certainly is. Hughes joining local leaders earlier today, coming out swinging with the team's fate just up in the air. 12 Sports Director Nicole Menner is live at Nystag Stadium now with more on why they're crying foul. Nicole. In assault on America's favorite pastime, pure greed on the part of Major League Baseball, shame on the commissioner, fiery words today as team owner John Hughes and local officials came together as the fight to save baseball in Binghamton intensifies. Team owner John Hughes giving an official statement today on Major League Baseball's proposed plan to remove the Rumble Ponies from here in Binghamton, but his main point being that it simply doesn't align with what was put forth in the proposal. Two different news reports are prompting the concern over the future of the Rumble Ponies. The first, a Baseball America report outlining a Major League Baseball proposal to remove a number of minor league teams. The second, a New York Daily News report this weekend saying the Rumble Ponies could be on the chopping block. And tonight, I'm taking a look at the numbers surrounding the proposal. The New York Mets have six minor league affiliates. Baseball America's reporting of the proposal by Major League Baseball shows two of them being removed. That would be the Kingsport Mets, but also, according to that New York Daily News report, the Mets' AA affiliate, the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. But the Kingsport Mets are a part of rookie ball, and the Daily News report says the proposal gets rid of most rookie ball teams, so they aren't being solely targeted. That would leave just Binghamton. Major League Baseball has spoken. After 12 Sports reached out to Major League Baseball for a comment on its proposal, the commissioner's office shared this letter they sent to Congress. Now, before I break this all down for you, it's important to note that this all comes back to MLB and Minor League Baseball's negotiations to renew their contract known as the PBA. So as pointed out in this letter, Major League Baseball pays minor league players nearly $500 million in signing bonuses and salaries. In return, minor league teams pay major league clubs an aggregate of only $18 million per year. This letter directly addresses what this proposal intends to do. MLB says, number one, they want to ensure that all minor league affiliates have facilities suitable for professional baseball players. Number two, reducing travel burden by reorganizing teams in a more geographically efficient manner. Number three, improving compensation, accommodations, and amenities for players. 
And number four, improving the process by which minor league teams affiliate with a major league club. Well, I spoke with Rumble Ponies owner John Hughes earlier today as he just got back from winter meetings and he said he remains optimistic, but there hasn't really been any significant progress made other than just the fact that MLB and MILB are talking. According to an article written by Michael Silverman of the Boston Globe, MLB came to this meeting ready to fight. Not only did MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred refer to the talks as, quote, a tale of two cities, but Silverman writes that Deputy Commissioner Dan Halem brought 21 photos from 13 minor league parks to show off their poor conditions and called out minor league owners saying they leave communities all the time. According to this article, Halem said the list of 42 teams released is inaccurate and out of date, but they will not release a revised list due to the negotiations and their intensity. Hughes says he is unaware if Binghamton is on this revised list, but after leaving the winter meetings, he assures us that Binghamton's voice is being heard. While attending the winter meetings, it was made very clear to me uh, by both the senior negotiator for minor league baseball and President Pat O'Connor that the voice of being, Binghamton is being heard uh, at this from the state level, from the federal level, from the local level, and, and our fans engaging with MLB. Um, so it's, it's truly humbling to know that we're all in this together. Hughes says they are working on dates to continue meetings, but he believes there is a long way to go.